I'm going to try out Mocha on the side of the truck. I wanted to put a video on the side of the truck. Now, looking at the video, it's hard to see the contrast over here. I can see a very thin line of darker pixels. Whether it's just helping out the scene to make it look better or helping Mocha out, I'm going to drop on to the bottom layer a brightness and contrast that's under color correction. And I'm going to increase the contrast of the scene and I'm going to decrease the brightness of the scene. And now you can see the sky better, turn it on and off, and the side of the truck better. Whether it's just color correction, which should be done to this video, or it's for the tracking capture, it's good to take a look at your video before you go forward and see if you could do anything to help it out. Mocha's not going to read this plugin. I'm going to have to pre-comp this and move the plugin in there in order for Mocha to use that darker video. So pre-compose, and I'll write truck, and whatever, contrast. Making sure to move the plugin on the inside of that pre-comp. Now I'm going to head over to Mocha, selecting the bottom layer and going under animation track in mocha and then click on the mocha button here you can see where it's more contrasty than image that will help out our tracking program helps us also when we're drawing lines around it to see them better i'm going to go around frame let's say 86 that's a good contrast this side of the trucks in view I'm going to pick up the spline tool. I'm going to draw a loose spline around here. And the purpose of the spline is this capture area of textures, of pixels, to stop drawing the spline, right click or control click with, with a mouse on a Mac. You can tighten up the spline a little bit for the area. I'm going to turn on show platter and there's our tracking plane that will exist within After Effects. I'll zoom in in a moment after I do the broad tracking. I'm thinking doing on the inside, which might be a little more challenging than doing the actual edges. Let's see what happens. Holding down the Z key and dragging upward to a little more position moving of this. I'm looking for the light and dark region because there's a ledge going here. I'm pressing the middle mouse button to drag upward. And middle mouse button drag up there. I tighten the outside a little bit more. Same with the top. And also pull it a little closer. And let's inspect it over here. I'm going to zoom out, Z key, zooming out, panning with the middle mouse button. And now I'm going to click track backwards. But before I do that, I'm going to click on the perspective because this object goes into perspective. And I'll rename this truck, my layer name. Clicking on the track backwards. And staring down here, I see how much it's sticking. It's almost there, another 40 frames or so. Remember, we're looking for the blue inside. The red bounding doesn't matter much. That's just a capture area. It looks like we're back to frame zero. That looks like a very good side of the truck. Now I'll go with frame 86. And this could be challenging going forward because the truck does disappear from screen. and. There might be a part where we're going to have to correct it in After Effects by hand 
but at least we're not doing this whole thing by hand. And the way we would correct in After Effects is by moving the corner pane. Well, now that I have all these buttons selected and I'm back to frame 86, I'm just going to click the Track Forward button. It's almost okay. I can see where I'm going to have to push these over in After Effects. Those off screen, we'll figure it out in a moment from now. And that's okay that it stopped. Because I believe I captured as much as I needed. Everything else I would have to do by hand, just pushing off screen anyway. Let's get this tracking data back into After Effects. I'm going to save it. File, save project. I'm just going to close. So here we are back in After Effects. I'm going to click on the create track data. And I'll select the truck, which is the truck layer that I created or named in Mocha. I'll click OK. Next, I need a layer to apply to. I'm going to go under my project, drag out a familiar logo. There we go. Now what's very important with Mocha is aspect ratios and screen sizes. This is a 1920 by 1080 with a square pixel or one aspect ratio. If this number is off and it doesn't match what was the original video or the comp layer of the video, then Mocha is going to misscale things. So it's very important to match up frame rates and also ratios of different compositions. Back to the main story, which is last when I was here, I press create track data and then I was about to select a layer. I didn't have a layer, so I had to drag in the logo layer and I'm going to pick the logo as my layer to apply the tracking data to and to apply it, I'm going to make sure I'm at frame zero and I'll click on apply. And now I'll press the space bar. You can see that even though Mocha ran out of tracking data because the truck went off screen, that's okay. The keys up until that point were working. Like the previous video, it's out of scale. So to fix the scale, it's just going back to the logo, which is here. And we could just squish it. And then when we go back to the main timeline, it should look better on the truck. You could compare this with 3D camera tracking, and I would say after today's lesson, just try apply 3D camera tracker to this. And there's really not much to 3D camera track because we're trying to track the moving object of the truck. Let me just fix that a little more. Squish even more, go back out here. Perfect, right? 